Hello everyone and welcome to Non-Engineers. Today we are going to talk about this Quantitative Aptitude book for CAD by Arun Sharma. This is a book which is used by a lot of aspirants but there is very little information out there about how this book is to be used. I highly recommend this book to anyone who feels that he or she is not good with Quantitative Aptitude. I wasn't as well and this book really helped me. Now let's discuss each and every component of this book and see what is relevant for CAT and what is not. We are going to begin with index first. So you can use the index to define what your entire syllabus is going to be and you can do that by writing in front of each topic how many questions are to be solved. The next component is developing your calculations. This is important for someone who didn't have mathematics in their 12th or in graduation. For others, this topic becomes relevant only when you find out that your calculation speed is not up to the mark. That is while solving the questions during the mocks. Otherwise, you can skip this part. All right, this brings us to the next important component, which is core concepts. Core concepts are given in front of each chapter. This is the theory that you're supposed to read before solving the questions. There are many important formulas here. Please take a note of them in your formula book. If you don't have a formula book, please find a link in the description. I've shared my formula book there. Formula book is basically a collection of all your questions, all your important formulae, all, all the important tricks that you need during the exam. Needless to say, going through these solved problems is going to help, but the way you're supposed to solve them is by not looking at the solution directly, instead trying to solve them on your own and then matching it with the solution of the author. Okay, that brings us to an important component, which is the practice exercises. I have a couple of tips here. First of all, don't solve all the level of difficulties. Mostly LOD 1 and 2 are sufficient, but you can also skip LOD 2 if you want. I'll share an example. So this is an example of my geometry chapter. If you see carefully, I didn't solve LOD 2 questions in here. Another tip I have is regarding making use of separate highlighters to note down the tricks and the concepts because this will make it easier for you to note them down in your formula book. The last component of the book is block papers. These are some extra questions and some pre-assessment tests in between two blocks. You can solve this if you think you need extra practice during the mocks, otherwise this is not required. All right, guys, so this was uh, all about this book from my end. If you have any questions related to quantitative aptitude, please put them down in the comments. I'll try to reply to them. And if you need any other help regarding cat preparation, you know where to find it. Please note this URL down. Thank you for watching the video.